Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about trying parse exact method in csop.net. So, and here it is used to deal with invalid formats. So, there are already written one example. So, there I am using try parse. So, if you take the cursor on try parse, so it's a bool. That means it return true or false. So, that at here I am using if statement. Now, here or just select this try parse here after right click and here go to definition so click and here go to definition here you get so many things parse exact try parse and your try parse now if you click here you can see public static bool and here click on plus so add here get the summary details so summary convert the specified string representation of a date and time to its system date times. Okay. So whatever the date times you represent, so it's just try to match with system date times. Equivalent using a specified format, culture specific format information and style. So there are so many things. Now here after parameter is or a string containing date and time to convert format the required format as and here this is the provider and object that supplied culture a specific formatting information about as and their stand and here this is the result so result when this method returned contains the system date time value equivalent to the date and time contained in as and here there are so many other points you should read now here after returns so true if s was converted successfully otherwise that go to false and here t system argument exception a style is not valid so if the style is not valid then that return some exception and here system globalization so there are so many points inside there now here after the next is so first if you are using here you need to add this namespace system dot global globalization now here after if i take the cursor so add here it has some or parameter so dt that is the object of a string and here that i passed this values okay this value that i passed now here after a string str and here i give the format so first year, next month, here hour, minute, and here TT, second and day. Okay, now here after here you can check. And here after uh, create with the object date time DA and here date time. So by calling date time is the class and here if you press dot here try for exact method it's gone and here or dt one parameter second and here third so culture in variant culture culture info it dot in variant culture and here date time star so here you can give a different date time star so if you press dot here you can select anyone like go uh, here none is there and here you can use as your local anyone whatever you like now that return out da so da suitable matching date time according to the systems date time now here so this is all fine here you can see this is is now first is at here 21 dd and your month and your y now if i execute to this code so if the condition is true then that out da value so da value or uh, that return so if the condition is not match then that go to add here as part so here suppose if user enter or uh, some unmatching value at this place so here you can see da it's returning according to system data so right here 2016 that i written first and here next is add here month june and here time is 8.30 and here or uh, 18 so 18 is the day so this is the day here 
So TT, I think that's the indicate for timing. So that try to match with timing. Oh sorry, system date. Okay, now suppose if I give add here 2, 0, 1 and here if I include so it's a not suitable so that is invalid then this is condition that become false and that go to as per enter value not correct so that goes to as per and there that return enter value not correct here so here you can see the output it will go to the else part here enter value it is not correct it is a display now there is uh, one important thing here you can include dd first or you can uh, include mm first ok and here y four, five, 4 times and here so at here this is the uh, invalid uh, tab Okay, but if it will try to match so month or uh, three or uh, uh, character and here that go to three and here or uh, this is not to at this place we need to enter some values so let's give at here 2018. Now if I execute so this time it's a true so when that true that go to inside and here that to try to match with system date and return the values. So at here, here you can see 18 6 2000 it's so 18 displaying 830 so timing 830 it's so displaying a okay so this is so uh, just incorrect format but it's so uh, try to okay matching with the uh, uh, system then that return all suitable values so this that's why we are using at here try first exact method so to convert the date time in uh, exactly or suitable format with respect to systems date time okay this is the so many points about the method return a value that indicate whether conversion is, is succeeded and the format of the stand represent must match a specified format exactly so this format this two format so June then three and here 2018 then 4 and here 830 then it's an H and time so H that indicate our mm so that for minute and TT so at here this is for AM okay you can give PM also now here that to return according to the system matching time values so here you can see the outputs so it's so ready here you can see this is or uh, here it's not converted into or uh, pm okay so that here it's a uh, displaying 830 is there but it's a uh, displaying 2030 okay so that's why we are using add here to handle or to deal with invalid formats so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you